All right. Uh, nothing can be out of this world artificial intelligence, but uh, at the end of the day, there are still pressing issues like racism that we have to build out. So, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, I stand before you today to talk about the recent passage of House Bill 1775 and how it is damaging our society. For those of you who don't know, House Bill 1775 is a bill that prohibits the teaching of the critical race theory in schools throughout Oklahoma. Um, if you're not familiar with what the critical race theory is, how do we use the slides? Can I just like press them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you're not familiar with what the critical race theory is, um, its definition is an academic and legal framework that examines how race and racism intersects with the law and society. It was developed in the 70s and has been taught throughout legal works ever since. Um, why I usher you guys to understand what the critical race theory is, and I'll even go even further to explain it, it is quite literally how your color of your skin affects the way media perceives you and how you are associated with media. It is often misconstrued by many people on the right um, in politics and needs to be addressed. So uh, why is it so important? Because uh, we need to educate future, it's right here, we need to educate future generations on critical race theory. Uh, right here on the board, I'm going to start by showing you guys a map of America and what states the critical race theory are taught in and where they are not. And then I'd also like to show Kevin Stitt, who is the governor of Oklahoma. I know we don't like him very much. He is the one who passed this bill and many others that are harming our community. And then this is a picture of the state school board doing their business. So, firstly, House Bill 1775 is a regressive bill that undermines the progress we have made. And by banning the critical race theory, the bill essentially silences the voices of those affected by systemic racism. For those of you who aren't aware of what systemic racism is, uh, it's been around for as long as anybody has been around, for as long as business has been around. Systemic racism refers to the ways in which institutions and systems within society perpetuate racial inequalities. It is not just about individual acts of discrimination, but rather it is about how society as a whole has been structured to benefit some groups while disadvantaging others. So this can be seen in areas such as education, housing, employment, and the criminal justice system, where people of color are often face unfairly and with unequal opportunities. Systemic racism can be caused by past laws and policies or unconscious biases that continue to influence decision making today. This sends the message that we are not willing to confront the truth about our history and that we are not interested in creating a more just and equitable society for all. Um, yeah, I keep walking over the keyboards right in front of my face. Secondly, the critical race theory is a vital tool in educating future generations about racism. When I was doing my research and I was looking for like a graph that would uh, kind of give me more than just one topic of education, I came across this. And when I did, I was absolutely flabbergasted. Uh, Sorry for my language. Taken off my ass, literally. This is insane. This is a bunch of bar graphs that represent percentages in the education system here in America from uh, questions such as, is it systemically racist? Does white privilege exist? Negatively conscious on how it affects non-white people, uh, is America built on stolen land, patriarchal society, and regardless of the biological sex you were born into, is identity a choice? Now, of course, we see some pretty high numbers in people that have been taught this in school, but at the same time, we also see just equally high numbers in people that don't even know what the topics are. This is alarming. This is very alarming. And it's scary because this is the generation of our country that will lead us in the future. So, secondly, uh, this theory helps us understand the ways in which systemic racism permeates every aspect of our society. It teaches us that racism is not just about individual acts of prejudice, but rather a system of oppression that benefits some groups at the expense of others, exploitation. By teaching critical race theory in our schools, we can help future generations understand the root causes of racism 
and how to combat it. But why is it so important? Why should we care about the CRT, the critical race theory, the sun, this idea that the right is trying to convince us that they're brainwashing our children with race ideologies, that one is better than the other? Because racism is still a significant problem in our society today. We have seen countless examples of racism for recent years, from police brutality to hate crimes, such as George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and especially the large amount of neo-Nazi slash fascist groups that have emerged since the depths of COVID-19. If we want to create a more just and equitable society, um, we need to teach our children about the critical race theory. Lastly, to actively combat the House Bill 1775 and systemic racism, it is important to educate oneself and others. It does no good if you don't do anything about it and you walk out of here and ignore it. So it starts with understanding the damaging effects of House Bill 1775 and how it silences the voices of those affected by systemic racism. Additionally, you can advocate for change by supporting civil rights groups, uh, such as the ACLU and Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under the Law, who are currently challenging House Bill 1775 in court as of now. Here are uh, four small examples. I mean, small, there are tons of organizations that fight actively against systemic racism and um, providing the critical race theory at spot in education systems. So, it is also crucial to educate others about critical race theory and its importance in teaching about systemic racism, which can help combat racism in the long run. To combat systemic racism, individuals can support these anti-racism organizations and initiatives, engage in difficult conversations about race and privilege, and actively work to dismantle racist systems and institutions with their, within their communities and workplaces. In conclusion, House Bill 1775 is a damaging law that undermines our progress in the fight against racism. We need to reject this regressive bill and embrace the critical race theory as a crucial tool for educating future generations about racism. By doing so, we can build a more just, equitable, and compassionate society for all. Thank you.